it's like maybe an ice cream truck, maybe a cookie truck, maybe Smokey Robinson will come. <laughs> I owe you one, man. I owe you one big time. We are a magnet school, and we're here because of legislation in the 1990s that said school districts based on town boundaries is discriminatory. And they had two choices. They had a choice between busing and creating schools with themes that would have a wide variety of scholars wanting to come to learn in those schools. And we went with that, magic schools. Scholars come here because we are an early college high school. And we have opportunity to earn over one year of credit while still in high school. But one of the pioneers in desegregating schools is with us today desegregating our country on the dance floor. So it is a great honor, Mr. Robinson, to have you here today. It's befitting for we continue the work you started, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Now, Dr. Sal Menzo, who is the superintendent of Goodman University Magnet Schools, I introduce you. This is uh, an incredible moment for our scholars, our community. Goodman University Magnet Schools is unique, uh, and we're very, very, very proud of the fact that we are our own local education authority. We are unique in that we are a town for no other definition, by no other definition. We are our own school system. And we have such a unique relationship with the university, as was mentioned by um, the principal, you know, Mr. Foster, that we have early college opportunities for our students. They are able to take courses, they're able to accrue credits before graduating high school. And it's like nothing else, because we have such an amazing collaborative opportunity there. We are a pre-K-12 system. So we basically are able to take students at three years old, work them, work with their families, help them grow throughout our system, have them graduate our system, then matriculate into either Goodwin University or University of Bridgeport. Come back and be a graduate student. Get your doctorate at University of Bridgeport. That is unique. That is nothing like it. There's nothing like it anywhere else in the country. So we are so fortunate because that uniqueness is symbolic of the uniqueness also of Mr. Smokey Robinson. We have the ability today to show our students, our scholars, who probably had their parents themselves and grandparents listen to this music, this inspirational music, and now to put his name on this music suite as a remembrance of this every day as they walk down this hallway. What more can we say? This is such an amazing moment. The technology that is in those rooms for those students to make their own music, to be able to be able to share with others what's in their hearts. We know that that's what Smokey did and does with his music. His words meant more than just writing on paper. They were commitments to all of us and to us as a, as a nation, as a community, as a people to come together. And that commitment in his writing is a commitment we want in our scholars. We want in all of us as professionals. A commitment to be kind, to be considerate, to be people that bring people together rather than separate. So there is no better person than to be named, to name the space after than Mr. Smokey 